Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see what is meant by a venturi meter. Now venturi meter is a device which is used to measure the discharge also called as the flow rate of a flowing fluid or we can say a flowing liquid and how that venturi meter looks like for that i'll just draw the diagram and explain So here is the diagram of a venturi meter. There is a flowing liquid as we can see here. It is entering this pipeline and venturi meter is this device which has a convergent part as we can see. Then there is a throat section. After that there is a diverging part. So venturi meter is the device which is connected in between the pipeline. When we want to measure the discharge or the flow rate of this flowing liquid. So it has a convergent part as we can see the diameter reduces first then it remains constant for a small amount of length called as the throat section after that the diameter goes on increasing again up to the pipe diameter. So that is a diverging cone and this complete device is called as the venturi meter as we can see it is connected to a differential YouTube manometer one of the section is connected at diameter d1 as we can see the left limb is connected the right limb is connected at section 2 or we can say diameter d2 so the difference in pressure is indicated by this height which is called as x and the, here there is a mercury manometer so this indicates the level of mercury it contains mercury so first of all venturi meter is used It is used to measure the flow rate also called as the discharge and that flow rate is measured by using the formula or it is calculated by using the formula. So here is the formula by which the discharge is calculated that is called as actual discharge CD which is coefficient of discharge for this venturi meter. This value would be less than 1 and for venturi meter the CD value is equal to 0 0.98 or it can even be 0 0.99. So this is the coefficient of discharge. 
then a1 a2 a1 is the area of the pipe we can say or section 1 a2 is the area at the throat since it is having diameter d2 or section 2 now h is the height or we can say the head in terms of the flowing liquid because in case of this venturi meter we are getting the height in terms of mercury reading which is x so that needs to be converted into the flowing liquid so that is h and again in the denominator we have root of a1 square minus a2 square that is area 1 and area 2 so this will give us the actual discharge and whatever is there with cd we can see this term i am highlighting this much term is called as the theoretical discharge denoted by q theoretical so if we multiply with cd that gives us the actual discharge now i'll explain how to get this h for that there are two cases like for example if in the manometer mercury is used then h will be x into sm upon sf minus 1 where x is the mercury reading in terms of meter sm is the specific gravity of mercury which is 13.6 and sf is the specific gravity of this flowing liquid sf this can take any value like for example if it if the flowing liquid is water sf value will be 1 if it is oil the value can be 0 0.8 0 0.9 or any other given value so by this formula we can get h and that h will be in terms of the flowing liquid unit would be in terms of meter next if instead of mercury a lighter liquid is used and that is mostly the case if the pressure inside the pipeline is less then we have to use an inverted differential youtube manometer using a lighter liquid so for that case If the lighter liquid is used as a manometric fluid then H will be X into 1 minus SL upon SF. This will, this will also be in terms of the flowing liquid. Now SL would be the specific gravity of the light liquid which we are going to use as the manometric fluid instead of mercury. So that would be the specific gravity and SF is the specific gravity of the flowing fluid. So like this we are going to get H and then putting all the values in this equation would give us the actual discharge. So in short that was a video regarding the Venturi meter and its usage. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends. Thanks for watching.